WPUG Radio presents Maisie and Daisy. Hello and welcome everyone. This is Maisie the Crazy Pug coming to you on this podcastic evening on radio station WPUG in beautiful downtown Pugville. I am in Studio A and Daisy is in Studio B. It has been raining here today, so Daisy and I have been relaxing inside. We hope our listeners have had enjoyable weather this weekend. It was a beautiful day yesterday. I was able to play a game of fetch with my daddy in our big field across the drive. Daisy sat and watched from under a nice shade tree. Yeah, I'm not into running and sweating. I prefer to relax and enjoy a cool breeze under the tree. If I had my way, the humans would be feeding me some nice cool watermelon too. That is one thing I love about the summer. Fruit is in season. It is a great way to cool off. Daisy, did you notice the cooling pad Mommy put down for us when we came back inside? No, I didn't, Maisie. She had a cooling pad she took out of the freezer and laid it on the couch for us to sit or lay on. I chose to lay my belly on it. It felt so good after running outside. (laughs) I guess I'm the smart one. I didn't do any running like you, so I didn't need to lie on a cooling pad. I will say, that was smart of Mommy getting it out for you. Us pugs can overheat very easily. Not just us pugs, but any dog with a smushed face can overheat easily. We sure got lucky last week with the weather not being too hot at the pug party. It was in the low 70s and there was a beautiful breeze. Great day to sit outside visiting with our friends. Did you see Elvis? He looked so good dressed in his Cubs fan outfit. He was a gentleman compared to the last time I saw him. I love seeing our friends and making new friends at the party. We got to meet our friend Punchkey in person. Mommy just loved holding her. Our mommy loves holding everyone, Maisie. (laughs) You're right, Daisy. She loves all animals and especially us pugs. Who wouldn't want to hold a pug? I know we are done with the parties until the end of summer when we go to the pug camp in Pennsylvania. I do see a pug fest is happening in Indiana this month. The Kentuckiana Pug Rescue Pug Fest will be on Saturday, June 22nd from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum. If anyone would like more information, please go to their website at www.kentuckyanapugs.com. It is a great way to show your support for helping pug rescues, and you know you will have a good time. We will have to make that fest one year. Then again, there are many parties I would like to get to. Getting a group of pugs and their humans together, it's a great thing. That is so true, Daisy. It is a great thing. You know what else is a great thing? What would that be, Maisie? Steak on a stick. I always like steak on a stick. (laughs) (laughs) You are silly, Maisie. Always trying to be funny. Here, I thought you had something else to share. I did have something to share. My quick humor. I get that from Daddy, you know. That you do, Maisie. All kidding aside, I do have a great thing to share. You know how many of our friends have been impressed with my fetching abilities? Well, I remember when I first played fetch. It was back on July 10th, 2016, when I was about 10 weeks old. Mommy was playing fetch with Susie. I watched carefully to see what they were doing. When I saw my opportunity, I rushed up and grabbed the ball and brought it back to Mommy, just like Susie did. The rest is history. I have been playing fetch ever since. You are ball crazy, Maisie. I don't see the fascination in it. That's okay. You keep doing you 
and enjoy yourself. I'll keep being me and getting belly rubs from Mommy while you and Daddy play fetch. I'm ready to go pro with the game. This July, I will have been playing for three years. Yada, yada, yada. Whatever, Maisie. The only pro ball players are the human kind. I don't know of any pro pug fetch players. Really? Then I will have to start a league of my own. If something doesn't exist that you want, make it exist. Daddy always told us we can do whatever we want to. Well, we did start the first pug car club. Sure, you can start a pug fetching league. I wonder if any of our listeners work for ESPN. Maybe they can help you. That is a good idea. If anyone listening works for ESPN and would like to help me start a pug fetching league, please call my people. <laughs> I can't wait to hear that phone call, Maisie. <laughs> Maisie, this is Control Room. You have a call on line one. Hello, caller. This is Maisie the Crazy Pug. You are on the air with WPUG Radio. What can I do for you? This is Fred from ESPN-TV calling about starting a pug fetching league. Really? No. Psych. Oh, not nice. Some people can be so rude. Break a poor girl's dream. Control room, please screen the phone calls better. Maisie, I am sorry that happened. You keep dreaming. You are the best fetcher I know. Thanks, Daisy. You are the best sister. Us sisters need to look out for one another and support each other. Do you want to play fetch with me? Not really, but I will snuggle with you. Great. I can use a snuggle right about now. You know me. I'm up for a snuggle anytime. I think we should spend the rest of the day on the couch with a good movie, Mommy and Daddy, and maybe a treat or two. That sounds like a great idea, Daisy. I think that is all the time we have for today. Maisie and I are going to snuggle with Mommy and Daddy. If you enjoy our program, please be sure to spread the pug love with everyone you meet. You don't have to be a pug to spread some love. If you have any questions you would like us to answer on the show, or if you would like to be a part of our show, please message us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. This is Daisy, best friend and sister of Maisie the Crazy Pug, signing off for WPUG Radio. We hope you have enjoyed your time with us.